Joseph Rochefort was a codebreaker for the United States during World War II. Some may say he was just your average person, but he is the person who ended up setting the United States in the Pacific. Prior to this, he was barely known and trusted, even though the U.S. Naval Attaché to Japan with a man named Edwin T. Layton, another key player in the World War II campaign in the Pacific. Because he wasn't very well known, he wasn't given access to secret data and communications called the Purple Code, and was ignored by his predictions about an attack on Pearl Harbor. After Pearl Harbor, he decoded a message from the Japanese that talked about a location called AF as a potential target, and thought it was Midway. Washington was more confident in their data and their code breakers than in his, even though they weren't there at the present time and experienced what happened. Because of his work and misinformation campaigns, Rorford managed to convince Admiral Nimitz, the current leading admiral in charge of the Pacific, to mark Midway as the target of the Japanese attack through many methods. By confirming the target as Midway, he saved many lives and saved the West Coast from burning under Japanese bombs, but also unknowingly condemned the Japanese to being the first people to experience a new era. Sadly, before he could do much else for the war, personal vendettas started taking effect, mainly from Admiral Ernest J. King, who very much disliked him due to his outfit choices, and he was reassigned to a floating dock in San Francisco. After the war, Rochefort was awarded the Legion of Merit, much to King's dis disdain, and was posthumously awarded the Navy Distinguished Service Medal, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and Legion of Merit. His story has been joined in two movies, in Midway 1976 and Midway 2019. He died one month after the premiere of the 1976 movie.